Good everyone, welcome to this video. Today it's a Hot Wheels drive out in the Chinese M8 LAC. Now, originally this was going to be the Type 94, but then I thought the Type 94 trucks battle didn't, like the battles I had in that thing, didn't go all that excitingly well. So I thought I'll, I'll leave the Type 94. Like, I like driving it, it's just the brakes are crap and stuff like that. And just like, I thought. They're not good. Like you guys aren't going to be too interested in a fucking truck all that much. But then I thought, hold on a minute. What's one of the first Chinese vehicles I did review on? I absolutely freaking loved it. The Chinese M8. So the Greyhound is one of those armored cars that I really wanted to get my hands on in the US tree. But obviously the event came around and I didn't. I wasn't able to do it. But then obviously China came along and decided, yeah, we're just going to have a freaking M8 in the tree. So I thought, hell yes, I can finally get to drive the M8 LA well, armored car. The Greyhound, obviously. The Greyhound name is actually a British designation, by the way, for those of you that are interested. So with the M8, obviously, I've done a video on this thing when I spaded it and gave a nice review on it and I'm sorry but that Mardus was pretty much the, one of the main selling points on this tank or car I should say and well if there's one thing I haven't done yet for this series because I wasn't actually going to include this car but then I realized hold on a minute it's a wheeled armored car duh so I thought okay what now I've got to remember where the actual um I think now that's Sweden you know when you haven't done anything in ages, like, you, you've got to find it. But when I thought about it, I thought, here it is. I thought, I might as well throw it in, because at the end of the day, it's an armoured car, and I loved playing it, because, well, it's an armoured car. I always love armoured cars in War Thunder. And so that's, that's odd. <laughs> I've got to sort that. But, like, it's just one of those things that I just wanted to have in the series and I thought I might as well put it in right well this gives me an opportunity to show off a spot again I'm not going to go to my original spot which is up here I'm going to use the M8 speed and we're going to go to a different spot I'm sorry my throat's a little dry I've been I've been doing quite a few recordings this morning obviously oh that's better Honestly, cold Pepsi Max to help you throw, it really helps. I don't have any Dr. Pepper at the moment, so... Alright, so what we're going to do is, we're going to head up to the spot up here. You may remember it from the M3A1 Talisman Series drive out. If you do, that is. Now, obviously, we're going to have to be fast, so that's why I've chosen the M8, and we just hit that fence, which slowed us down to a crawl. Once we get on this on well, this thing on the road, that's really where we will obviously get up to a good amount of speed. So we're just going to follow the roads and we're just going to keep speed up. Because that, that's the primary thing. We can't fanny around when it comes to getting in this position. But obviously the M8 Greyhound has got really nice mobility. And with our punchy 37mm, we should be able to hold our own up there. Obviously, if you don't remember it, it is just up here where my gun is pointed at the moment. But obviously, with Mardus having the elevation that he, well, it does, our Mardus will easily be able to get into a good position. Okay. Nope. That was a bit of a crawl, wasn't it? <laughs> Oops. Don't ever put me in an armored car and let me drive it, is all I'll say. This thing don't have power steering, that's my excuse, okay? <laughs> yeah, the sad thing is that a lot of YouTubers nowadays just keep focusing on the top tier stuff. They don't really come back and enjoy the low tier favorites. Like, I absolutely love Spain and this Greyhound. It's just a question of if this thing can even get up here, which it is struggling. I don't think it can, folks. One moment, we have to think about this differently. I mean, we could try going a bit backwards, I suppose. Yeah, even though I didn't really, like, originally plan to put this thing in, because obviously it was quite new and I wasn't used to it yet. But then I thought, nah, it'd be a bit unfair to discriminate. 
because of me not being used to an armoured car. Now we're going to try going up it backwards and see if that helps a bit. Obviously due to the weight of the armoured car, that's probably why we can't get up here very well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the way. It's the way. We can't get up. Okay. Plan B. Plan B that I've literally just thought of in the last five seconds. So. We're going to... Nope, that doesn't help the suspension, does it? What we're going to do is we're going to flank round the mountain or this hill area. When we get up to speed. And we're going to attack the enemy from behind B. This is quite a risky move due to our no armor. But we're going to try it anyway. Right, he's just killed that L3. Lovely. Driver, stop changing your gear. You don't need to. <laughs> like, jeez. He's just... He, he loves that gear knob, doesn't he? Well, there's quite a few people that I've seen lately that are a bit of a knob themselves, and they'd love this car, but... Oh, whoa, 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 Oh, Jesus, that was close. How did he miss that? I should have been in the next dimension. God almighty, that was close. Like, jeez. That's why I didn't panic. I was there like, is he loaded? And that's why I went for the gunner, but obviously I missed it. What's up here? We just got hit, I think. Did we just get hit? I felt something ricochet off the car. I, I don't know if it was just me, but did anyone see sparks flying off the front plate? Because I certainly did. There. Come out of machine gunner. Yep, he's over there. That's a squeezy boy, okay. Let's back up. Out of sight. Oh, great. Mardus. Thank you. Thank you, Mardus. Oh, you Americans, if there's one thing you make good, it was 50 cal. <laughs> oh, yes. Alright, Panzer 3E is just taking out that guy. Yeah, I couldn't remember what the decal was for the bloody Hot Wheels decal. But yeah, I was really happy for Operation Heat, because obviously it gives me a nice decal, and it gave me an idea of a series when we obviously did it on my birthday. I still can't believe I'm fucking 19 to be honest folks. Alright, Hoggo. Oh, is that a regular Hoggo or a Hoggo Commander? Either way, I feel sorry for you. Here we go. I went for the gunner then, but okay. There we go. It's kind of a six, Jesus. Right, I don't know where that squeezy boy... Oh, there he is. Mardus? Thank you. See, but it's like... It's like summoning a power in, flipping... Like, in the... Uh, South Park games. You just, like... Say a certain word, or, like, say a ritual, and then you get to summon the... The ability and stuff like that. By the way, the South Park games, absolute fun. I I've got to say that. They are absolute fun. The fractured bottle is absolutely awesome. And also, um, Hellofo told me a couple of weeks back that um, that he actually bought um, Fallout 4 because of my live stream. I hope you're enjoying um, Fallout 4, by the way, Hellofo. Just a quick mention to you, mate. Right, well, quite clearly, there was more than one on that point. Come on, baby. Okay, no, you don't want to go up. That's fine. Right, he's already dead. 
Oh, no, 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 no. He's gonna see us, he's gonna see us. Yep, he's... Has he seen us? Either way, I wanna shoot him in the face. Right, let's move. Our position has been compromised. I mean, it was already compromised the moment we pulled the fucking trigger, but I'm gonna gloss over that. Alright, we're already scoring hits. It's an anti aircraft. With him, at least. Yeah, that's the problem. I thought we could get up into that position, but quite clearly we can't. Okay, we're just gonna sit here and just wait for the enemies to come through. Cause well, we don't we don't have to rush. We don't have to be anywhere really. We can just wait. Nobody expects a Chinese Inquisition. Told ya. Wait, back up, back up. He might have seen me push down that tree. Yeah, he saw me push down that tree. Okay. That's fair enough. He saw me push down the tree, so that's fair enough. Did you see me push down those, though? Oh, we ain't got the gun depression to sit here at the moment. Right, he's he's looking for me, but he doesn't know where I am. I want him to panic. I want him to try and overextend. Right, I fifteen biz. That's a Russian one. Right, B's being capped. That's the thing, though. If we push out, he's going to see us and he's going to kill us before we can. Alright, you're engaging, good. But I just don't know where that Panzer III is. Okay. You see, we're on nine kills, but at the same time, we have to play this carefully because he knows we're here. So, I mean, he still thinks, he still thinks we're up on that. He still thinks we're up on that rock. Well, on that ridge, sorry. So now what we're going to try and do it, hello, okay. It's been my job a whole lot easier. Mardus, thank you. Oh, I love Mardus, thank you. <laughs> I tell you, as I've said before, you Americans, you make good things. Machine guns is one of them. Right, that is an Italian tank. That's going to be a bit harder to crack with a 37. Oh, shit, there's one right there. Just the fucking loader. Thank you. Oh my god, half a fucking German and Italian army's coming for me. Right, well, it's quite clear they know we're here, folks, so. Can that BT distract them? Yes, he can. He's not noticed his teammates died. That's playing, okay. He's just gonna sit there, but that's fine. I can afford to sit here. My team's taking a B point. I don't think this I don't think this is um Pewter Pig's first radio, if you know what that saying means. He's just gonna sit there, but that's fine, I can wait. Is that friendly? No, that ain't friendly, okay. That's a problem. That's a Skoda. Mm. Well, we're in a bit of a pickle here, folks, unfortunately. I believe that's a gunner in that. Alright, that's him disabled. Right, I don't know what series that is, so... That's good enough for me. Let's go. Ah, oh, just missed him. Right. Okay, they're on the C point. We need to think about this tactically. I'm way faster than an M13, so let's go. Let's go. Okay, that was not the right move. It was a series one. That was not the right move, but to be honest, he was just sat there waiting for me. He wasn't really helping his team much, but 
His team are starting to take the objective now, so we need to try and get back. If we find him, we find him, but I'm not looking to revenge him. Right, A is completely gone. My team's pretty much gone. I mean, we've got a B1 biz for crying out loud. He's in the B point, but I think our safest option right now would be to go to the A point. We don't know what's on the C point. We only know of one guy, and that's a plane. One moment, folks. Where is he? Right, Mardus. Oh, you've had your gun elevation nerfed, okay. I love how they've had to do that because of how well the Greyhound kills planes. That, that's pretty funny. Alright, well, let's get on the move. I just love it when guys don't have to nerf your equipment for no reason whatsoever. Still, 11 kills. I really can't complain about that for a result. But obviously, me pushing out of that position was the wrong call, which... Obviously, I'm going to have to learn from that, because, well, I thought that was the right move since his gunner was dead, but clearly he has an experienced crew on that tank. Or he GE'd his way, which he probably did. And there's someone in the fucking spawn. Got his gunner, you got my co-driver. That's what you get, you camping little shit. And look, he's had one assist the whole game. He's not up to his team one bit doing that. Nice try, you little shit. All right, we've got wounded crew, but we're gonna have to we have to risk it for the biscuit, unfortunately. Obviously, I don't know what's on the A point. That's the only call. Holy shit! Okay, well that's fine. There we go. Fuck it out. He gave me a jump. Fucking Jesus. Come and treat. In fact, look, let's not go over the commentary. Men and multitasking. We just can't do it, okay? Right. Now that that murder situation has been upheld. What is their obsession with pushing the freaking spawn, though? Like, jeez. And a team killer just occurred. That's good for me, I suppose. Right, well, the B1 Biz should be able to hold down the B point. Me and this AMD 35 should be able to hold down A. And we've got a couple of teammates holding down C. So for the most part, I think we've got this in the bag. There goes that M13. I'm going to have a quick look at that guy. Because he had, he had a very quick... Okay, that was a gunfire. Okay, no, it was friendly. Um... Level 51 is what I saw before, obviously, I had to take control of the vehicle, because, well, I'm just going to park it up here, because it's one of my favourite spots to use. Alright, we'll park it in the bushes, and we'll have a quick log. Because that was an unusually fast crew replan for a gunner. Normally it takes about 11 seconds. I, I think, personally, he's G'd his way to get a good crew, which... I can't fault him, but at the same time, really? Like I said, that was an unusually fast crew replay, that's why I want to take a quick look. I hear something to the left. Something is up there. Hmm. Well, last time we tried climbing up there, it's a light tank. Last time we tried climbing up something like this, it didn't make it. But let's give it a go. So there is a light tank up here, we just don't know what. Clearly, it's a proper tank, because, well, otherwise that probably would have hold broken. Okay. Nice and carefully. There's two of them. I oh, know that's friendly. Well, I'm a good distraction. He was clearly listening for me. The 
That's a bit awkward. Hold on a minute. Oh no, don't roll, do not roll, thank you. He's making a proper meal of that kill. And there we go. Major Pit 19, I've been seeing a lot of him, but 14 kills, Jesus Christ. For the first game in this thing, that is impressive. Like, jeez, well, the first game in quite a bit since I've played this thing. I've literally just picked up the baseball bat and started beating the seals, like, jeez. Note to self, go up the, the slope that's there, because that would have been probably quicker. Still, that is a GG. That was a really good game. A really good game. Oh dear. That, that was intense, let's just say that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one, folks. We had a bit cost us a car, but I don't mind. Didn't exactly cost us an arm and a leg to repair this thing, but still, really happy with that. And we got just over 1,200 towards my Chinese ISU, which I'm never going to drive, but still. Not a bad result in the MA LAC. Always love this little armored car, and that battle is no exception. Obviously, I made the wrong call, which got us killed, but we still managed to pull through and win the game in the end. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all on the next one.